record this video this morning and uh fortunately my camera was moving a whole lot my camera was moving a whole lot this morning so I started recording i didn't realize that i was cutting myself short in the video but uh, by the title of, of this uh, video you guys already know what i was trying to explain and uh just gonna try to get that car together as soon as i can we, we're gonna be taking that drive out like i said it's about a four hour drive to where i'm going so after that uh it's four hours to go and four hours to come back and hopefully uh put everything together as soon as i can getting a little bit ahead of myself right now but the guy's not in a hurry i'm not in a hurry neither for the trade um i don't know if i'll get it done before new year's but i will try so i'll give you guys a little bit more rundown um, about what it is and i'll be showing you guys more about the car it is actually a turbo engine the one that i'm going to be picking up so that's the reason that i stopped uh i stopped the process of trying to build the block that i had and sending my head to the machine shop i'm going to be keeping those things and i will be doing that block and that head together but for now um just change the plans we're gonna try to put that turbo engine in it and hopefully everything will work out one of the main reasons of why um i took everything apart transmission i mean block engine the block the head everything apart is because um, i was going to be using a block that i already have myself and the reason that i stopped the car from going the process for me a little bit faster is because i run a, i ran into a turbo engine turbo transmission and turbo engine so it doesn't really matter how bad I wanted to put it out with what I had. Um, as soon as I find out about the other engine, which I still got to go get, it's one of the reasons of why it's not in the car right now and I haven't been doing more to it. Um, it's because um, I'm waiting to go we'll get that engine and I just haven't made the time. I got to take a five, four hour drive. So it's basically like an eight hour drive back and forth. So I'm, I am going to be trading in um, one of my vehicles for the engine itself. It's basically a non-running car, which is the RX-8. Um, I don't have no use for the car right now. So that's one of the reasons of why. I'd rather take a loss and then just have the car sit in there and be able to use the transmission on the turbo engine. And the reason I'm doing the trade is because if you guys are familiar with the MR2 parts, there was this one guy that actually asked me for almost $3,000 for a turbo transmission. So that being said, and the engine... Um, I don't think it's gonna hurt me for me to let go of the car. I think it's a fair trade. And um, even though the RX-8 is in good conditions, it's a good car, but I just don't see um, any use for it now. So I'm just gonna be letting that go. I still have the MR2 sitting in there. I mean, it's, it's still in the air. Um, I haven't really done much to it. And that was, this is just a little quick update of the car. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of how the car looks like right now. But other than that, I'm, I'm not going to be touching the car until I bring that engine back. The parts that I got here, like the transmission, the block, the head, all of these parts I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. And if I ever run into another MR2, I got extra parts because I'm a big fan. I don't think two MR2s are enough for me right now. So if I run into another MR2, I got extra, like, ton of parts that I can use all day long, either in this one, the black one, whatever. I got to keep as much as I can because they're getting hard to find so that's just a little quick rundown on the vehicle itself um i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be doing much to it until i bring that engine back here so that's one of the reasons why i started the hard work with it and i just left it as it is i'm gonna give you guys a little quick, quick rundown on how it looks like right now and and that'll be it thanks again thanks thanks you guys again for liking and subscribing uh there's some of the mr2 guys some of the people that i run into and i met through um beginning of my journey I've been into the MR2 um, game for a while. I took some time off. I, I would say like a, like a good eight years off. Now I'm back at it and um, I'm just, I'm not, I don't think I'll ever let them go again. And um, that'll be all for now, guys. Um, thank, thanks you guys again for liking and subscribing and stay tuned because I really want to do more to this car. I'm waiting. I mean, this, this is the number one car that I really want to put on the road for my weekends, but certain things just keep on stopping me. Um, timing has been bad. My truck went bad. So in order for me to haul that um, RX-8 down the road, it's, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. I had to put it in the dolly and, and take it out there to make to do the trade. So that's what we got going on for now. I'm going to go ahead and um, 
give you guys a little quick rundown on how it looks. You guys already seen it. Not much to it. And thanks again for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's all kind of dusty in the inside. And... Maybe my engine bay.